Okay, so I think I got it. <laughs> Alright. Um, this game is... Once you actually know what all the puzzles are, this game isn't that hard. I'm telling you guys. Also, I don't know how I never noticed this. There are a couple things. There are a couple things that I actually really want to do before um, really actually getting into the final area. Just because, again, I hadn't really noticed them before. I guess I'd have to do that from... I have to do it from on top of there, which I don't know how to get up there. Um, and one such thing is actually an audio message thing that I found while I was uh, actually really, really early <laughs> while I was over here. I think that's it over there, just sitting right there. No, it's, it's somewhere over here. And it's one of those things where it's like, if I had just kind of known beforehand that these things existed, I probably could have done this. But there's a lot of stuff that's like pretty simple. Things like that that I just missed because I didn't know to look for them. And um, I know there was something like that over here. I think it was right over there. That's what it was. It's sitting right on top of the gate. So if I just walk right over there and then I'll of course uh, I'll, I'll get a little break from commentating right at the beginning of the episode. Oh, oh my favorite. There it is. Come I on. am standing on the threshold about to enter a room. It is a complicated business. In the first place, I must shove against an atmosphere pressing with a force of 14 pounds on every square inch of my body. I must make sure of landing on a plank, traveling at 20 miles a second around the sun. A fraction of a second too early or too late, the plank would be miles away. I must do this whilst hanging from a round planet head outward into space and with a wind of ether blowing at no one knows how many miles a second through every interstice of my body. The plank has no solidity of substance. To step on it is like stepping on a swarm of flies. Shall I not slip through? No. If I make the venture, one of the flies hits me and gives me a boost up again. I fall again and am knocked upwards by another fly, and so on. I may hope that the net result will be that I remain about steady, but if, unfortunately, I should slip through the floor or be boosted too violently up to the ceiling, the occurrence would be not a violation of the laws of nature, but a rare coincidence. These are some of the minor difficulties. I ought really to look at the problem four-dimensionally as concerning the intersection of my world line with that of the plank. Then again, it is necessary to determine in which direction the entropy of the world is increasing in order to make sure that my passage over the threshold is an entrance, not an exit. Verily, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a scientific man to pass through a door. <laughs> and whether the door be barn door or church door, it might be wiser that he should consent to be an ordinary man and walk in rather than wait till all the difficulties involved in a really scientific ingress are resolved. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, along this little journey here, I'm also going to be not quite picking up on some of the ones that I missed um, in my you know, journey back to this point, so much as pointing out some of the ones that I picked up along the way anyways, because I haven't done another boat episode just because that takes a lot of time. I did go around the, the bigger boat, but I didn't get all of the environmental puzzles. I don't know if that does anything for me or against me, though. Um, I feel like I actually do have to address that whole thing. I mean, it's basically just a long joke about the scientists, but that's pretty funny. Um, uh, yeah. I, I, I feel like I kind of shove myself into a bit of a corner with um, acting in the sense... Also, okay, if you're on the green floor, you can look down at the roof here, and um, the, remember the weird flower pattern on the roof there? It is a puzzle that is completed if you're looking at it through green glass. Uh, that's my explanation. <laughs> yeah, that's another one that I'm unfortunately maybe not going to be able to get. 
Well, I say not able. I might get it between recordings, but I'm definitely not going to. Have I never looked in that boat? I feel like I should look in that boat. Um. Anyways, I, I say that I'm I'm going to show off some of the things that I found that I maybe didn't point out, but uh, honestly, there. I think the only ones that I really like found anew that were really possible to miss, like actually miss outright instead of um, be like, oh, how do I access that? Because I was, I, I think I also got another environmental one in the treehouse area, uh, probably the one you're thinking about, and I don't remember exactly. Uh, Oh wait, I'm stupid. That's that's not it. Hold on. Uh, I don't quite remember 100% where it is. It was one of the it was one of the uh, brown spots on the ground, and uh, I think I ended up getting all of them, probably because you get you get one or two of them. No, actually, that's what it was, because I was kind of tunnel visioned into thinking that I had to do those from above. Because one of them you do have to do from the treehouse, but the other two, if you remember them, um, you just go down onto the ground and you can do them on the ground. <laughs> so yeah, this game is tricky, tricky, tricky. Speaking of tricky, that sure looks like a nice circle there, doesn't it? And uh, so does uh, so does that, right? And I'm sure there's another nice looking circle around here. Like that looks like a nice ending. Am I uh, laying down too many hints yet, or... Anyways, this is another fun one because it involves timing the, the changing of the platforms. Um, and I, I guess I should be so glad that the platforms move so darn slow, except for the fact that it's kind of annoying to, to deal with. I wonder if there's like a passageway that elevates over there. I feel like I'm going to slip into science talk. So, yeah, there's one, and there's one. And there's one. Isn't that nice? So this one's accessible when this is open. This one's obviously accessible when this other one is open. And this one, you have to get it right in between. Which again, I, I guess we're all lucky that that dang thing moves so darn slow, except when you're trying to get across it. So, you know, for all of us that want to do that one specific, very short, very quick environmental puzzle, don't worry, you can. It's possible. Um... And another thing that I, I, I don't know if I skipped it or if I actually just missed it. There's a full-blown door right here. Not door, but, you know, an area. And I forgot I opened this door. Okay. Uh, you know, um, uh, la, 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 oh, hey, wow, an open door, uh. It, oh, what a daunting puzzle right here. Good thing I already have kind of a sense to think that maybe there's an invi invisible yellow line here, right? All right, so, uh... <laughs> you gotta pick up the... Yeah, I mean, I, n I never was good at explaining exactly how I went about doing all these puzzles anyways. But... I feel like this is better, easier to explain from the position of the yellow line. Which is funny because that's how these typically go. But it's like you, the the more difficult or the more important line is the one that they don't show you or the one that you're not controlling. So basically, you just pick up this dot. If you cut off this black dot here, and that's kind of the entire puzzle, honestly, because that actually fulfills everything. But then you have to do it in blue. So let's just do that. Pick up this yellow. Uh, Overshoot the black, um, cut off the white, and just make sure you actually do pick up this yellow right here, which I am because I can't even get over there, and the blue. So, yeah. I don't know if this one even actually took me a while. I think after the boat puzzle, this is just kind of baby mode. And don't worry, I'm not going to sit through another 40 minute recording. But, uh, at some point, maybe next episode, <laughs> that is going to happen. Um, also another funny one. There are a couple clouds. There are a couple clouds that are in a, an interesting shape at, 
uh, one specific point, and you know what I just remembered? I think I think there was also like a ground formation right over there, right over there. You can just see the start of it. Yeah, yeah, it definitely does something. Probably from around over here, but I'm not draw I'm not dropping down there for right now. For now, I'm just gonna you know commit this to memory, aka basically take the picture and actually do what I sought out to do last week, this week, uh, and every other week in between. That Those are the flowers I was talking about, except it's, it's those ones right there. And let's get into the bunker area. Actually, there was one more thing. There was one more thing. Also, I don't know that I actually had to... No, I probably did. Whatever. Let's just... I don't know that I actually had to um, get every single light beam, because I guess there's what? Nine? There's ten. There's ten of them, and I think there's only seven of these doors. So we could have done this a lot sooner. Um, in fact, I probably could have gotten away with... Uh, oh, this is going to be fun, huh? I probably could have gotten away with uh, not even really worrying too much about it. Also, it's going to be super fun dealing with the fact that there's like a... I wonder if I can just get in through there. Oh, that is not an exit. Oh my gosh, that is tricky. I have to go to a specific exit. Which I can do, but I wasn't expecting to have to do it. I think this counts. No, it doesn't. That's odd. I'll do this then. Okay. Oh, there's... Yeah, right under his feet. Didn't see it. Uh, huh. Well, how exactly do you go about... Do I have to do all three of these? I get the feeling the answer is yes, because they're, like, locking down, so... I really do feel like that's a good starting point, at least. Or maybe from... No, I have to be able to get to... I have to be able to get to... That exit from this entrance. So it has to be from somewhere over here. Essentially, this is all of the information I need to solve the puzzle. In fact, I could probably get like way further back here and it would be even better. So I think... Um... Maybe something like this? No, that cuts me off. Oh, boy. In that case, I come up over here, because then I can see this intersection, and basically do the same thing. Except that now I'm cut off from that intersection, so... Wow, yeah, this is what I get for thinking I had to back up a bunch. I really should know my... I should learn my lesson at this point. I think this will do it. Yes. Very nice, very nice. We're getting into some kind of bunker or something. Okay, where's the exit for this one? Of course, it's in the far side. You know, I guess that kind of makes sense. It's it's along the, uh, the opening seam. Hum. In which case, it's probably going to be another kind of deal like this. Except that this guy's heel is in the way. Might be worth looking at it from over here, except that now I have a bunch of uh, cable kind of in the way. I wonder if it's just the same deal. No. Well, maybe, actually. It could actually be the same deal. Because that isolates... I have no way of isolating the one black, though, now that I think about it. The, the one that's behind this guy's heel. I can almost do it. Uh, well... Uh, hmm. Ahem, ahem. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I have no excuses for that one. Can I get through here? Yes, I can. That's good. 
Um, to what benefit? Good question. Can I... Is there a way for me to... I don't know that there is. I think there might... It's just possible to do something like that. Which I think gives me enough room to basically do the same kind of thing again. Maybe. Maybe. That isolates the black. I would prefer to be able to... Uh, eh, crap. I mean, I, I really want to do something like uh, come down through there, but I don't think that's possible. Unless I'm, like, way over here. Yeah, I, I don't think it's possible. Alright. Uh, in which case... Why don't we try the other corner? <laughs> oh, I know. Let's give up for now. That'll work. I'm sure it'll be more doable later, right? I mean, again, the puzzles are not the hardest thing in the world once you know, well, how to solve them. Who could have seen that one coming, right? Uh, um, I still feel like I'm ending up in the same kind of pit, you know? I would love it if uh, one of these were more open, because then I could go through here and basically solve the puzzle. Or... I guess I'm not. These guys just had to turn to stone right here, huh? That's the face of an idiot. That is also the face of an idiot. Watch these be like models of the game creators or something. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, um. That right there, that's the face of an idiot. I wonder if it's... No, probably not. I was about to say I wonder if it's enough to just have this guy's foot covering the black dot from my perspective, but... Mm, unlikely. Uh, is that enough to get behind his heel? That doesn't. It doesn't actually benefit me to go through there at all if I can't see like this, and I can't really do much of anything from right here. Actually... I may be able to do a lot from right here. Yeah, I can do quite a bit from right here. I can... I can... do a hell of a lot from over here. Or can I? Uh, you know, if this guy's foot wasn't right here, then I could... Hold on. Wasn't right there, then I could do this. I could go up through there, and basically come... back down through... okay, never mind, that wouldn't have worked anyways. But, you know, it was uh, relatively close to a feasible solution. Close enough that I almost feel like it might be the way to go for one of them. As a matter of fact, I think that might be my solution here. To basically go... Uh, up and around... Uh, maybe, maybe not, because I don't know if I can get a good angle where I can see both intersections. And I already can't get through that first corner. Actually, I don't need to see both, because I can do this. And with that, I can almost get through there. If I can just get through here, then I can do something like and uh, I'm really glad that that was applicable there. <laughs> I was about to scrap that as a solution because that wasn't working over here. So cool, yeah, that's great. We're getting in, boyos. We are, we are getting it. I mean, I have half a mind to just kind of look around and see if there's anything else. Um, by the way, those are the the clouds right there. You can kind of see how from a over there somewhere they line up. But that's a freaking gray cloud! Eesh. Okay, that's just kind of funny. Oh, never mind. I'm going to say the keyboard... You know, I really would have thought that that would be a... Uh... Well, whatever. Oh, why are these people fighting? Okay, fine, I'll get back to it. <laughs> I feel like this is going to end up being like a looking through their legs kind of deal. Actually, okay, I didn't try it from over here. So, let's try it from over here. 
I don't know how I would do anything from over here now that I think about it. Actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I can do it from over here, kind of. Well, no, didn't I establish that this wasn't gonna... No, wait, isn't this just the same solution? This is actually much simpler. This is a s much simpler solution. <laughs> cool, yeah, that was... Uh, a, a little bit better that time, huh? They've seriously, like, they've got, like, just... Drag circle kinds of things. Also, did I actually get... I, I must have, right? I must have gotten that in the first playthrough. By first, I mean the original, the real one. The real one. Uh, maybe make a different gesture here. Well, we made it. We got we got in. I think I'm going to go further down on the next episode. What in the heck? Whoa, dude. It's the, it's the splash screen for the entire game, sort of. Well, whatever. On the next episode of The Witness. I, I guess we're going to see a bunch of drawers and stuff. Till uh, is that? Did I see that before? No, oh, yeah, I've been in there. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will turn you to stone. Ooh. Is there something here? Is this is this something I should uh, see as significant? No, probably not. Actually, there's another cool one in the city that I might have to show off at some point, um, because I, I think it was an entire area, basically, that I just didn't get to. But, uh, yeah, I already, I already did an outro. I should just be content with that. What is this? The freaking Aperture Science Labs? Was this a sequel to Portal all along? I've seen those side plates before. Ah. You know, I... I'd pay good money to witness this. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.